What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. And today I want to talk about downsizing. I've got a little bit of a raspy cold thing going on and it's because I went outside and I was trying to put a new striker plate on the RV on a day that was a little questionable as far as temperature. Eh, I got a cold and it put me in bed for a couple days. Oh, it sucked. Weather's starting to get warmer, but we still have a few days here of 20 degree lows and the highs only in the 30s. I mean, we had a little bit of snow last night. Uh, I surprised we haven't got a big snow yet, but oh well, we still got some time. That's for sure. Uh, it snowed as late as my birthday. My birthday's uh, the second week of May, so I'll give you an idea as far as how late we can get snow still. I wanted to talk to you about downsizing. It's a big step. I mean, I'm getting rid of stuff that I've had for years. Uh, and I'm going to get particular on one specific here. I used to bowl, and I bowled a lot. And that's kind of a goofy sport, and it's not the way it used to be back in the late 70s. I mean, I started when I was five years old. I bowled in all kinds of junior leagues and traveling leagues and uh, tournaments. And then whenever I got older, I joined scratch leagues. And, uh, I mean, I was a pretty decent bowler. Uh, there was a time that I was a lane mechanic. I worked on the Brunswick machines. Uh, I'm a Brunswick A mechanic certified. I have, you know, all the paperwork and everything for it somewhere tucked away. And, uh, uh, you know, I've won a lot of awards and trophies and plaques and jewelry and rings, uh, watches uh, for perfect games, that kind of stuff. All that stuff I got to get rid of. I don't have a problem with the trophies and all that stuff. A lot of the other small stuff, the jewelry and that, I don't even, it's not even out of the boxes and that. I'll, I'll just give that to my kids, you know, for them to hold on, you know, heirlooms, that kind of a thing. But I kind of have one dilemma, sort of, but I, I think I know what I need to do. I just need to get rid of the stuff. But I wanted to ask you guys what you thought. Um, if I was on the road and I was looking to work and just find a part-time job that make ends meet, um, uh, working on a, at a bowling alley might be, you know, something that I would do. It's kind of a seasonal sport. So during the winter, uh, they may need a part-time, you know, something as simple as a pin setter, you know, or pin chaser, whatever you want to call it. The guy that goes back and makes sure your ball comes back or sets up the pin when it falls over, when it shouldn't have fell over, that kind of a thing. Or maybe they need a lane mechanic. Now here's my problem. Um, as far as lane mechanics go, uh, you know, other than fixing the machines, I also was really good at setting up the shot as far as, uh, I, I don't know how to really, I don't want to get into specifics, but, uh, you know, oil patterns are very, very important for how well people score at a bowling alley. And uh, I was able to set up shots that worked for everyone for the most part. Uh, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of experimenting. You got to be very scientific about it. You got to be very logical about it. And then after you get everything set the way you think that it will work, um, you know, there's a certain set of test procedures uh, to keep an eye on to see if it's going to work for a long period of time. You know, it's just all kinds of things. Well, I use my equipment, my bowling balls. I mean, that's basically the way to describe it uh, in a layman's term to throw a certain amount of games on a condition all by myself after a fresh pattern has been put down to see how it breaks down. And, and I can tell if I need to up quantities of oil and, and in certain areas and, and length and all that stuff. Um, if I get rid of all that bowling equipment, hmm, what, what about then? How do I set up that shot? I guess I just don't. That's probably why I think that my answer is just to get rid of the stuff. I accumulated the, you know, this, this equipment over years and um, I would buy bowling balls that range $160 to $320 per bowling ball, about three times per bowling season. And over those years, what I would do is I would use that equipment. If it didn't work for me, you know, sell it used, go into the next piece of equipment. Um, that's how it works to stay competitive. That's the way it worked. There was a time that I actually considered going pro. I was diagnosed with traumatic arthritis. And, uh, basically all that means is if you stress your joints, you, arthritis is nothing but pain in the joint. That's all it really means. And man, my knuckles swell and I can't even bend my fingers, but maybe to that degree after I've bowled, uh, you know, for half a season. 
So that put, you know, 40 games a week competitive. That's about all I could bowl max. And if you're bowling professionally, you need to be able to do better than that. So I never was able to do that. But I did do a lot of tournaments, and I traveled around all over and uh, three leagues a week, uh, two different bowling alleys, and subbing on other leagues, and like I said, tournaments, and uh, many tournaments, and sweepers, and all kinds of stuff. So I have a lot of time invested in the sport. I hate to get rid of some of my stuff because when I found a piece of equipment that worked and was unique for a certain lane condition, I kind of did a mental note. I said, okay, I know this ball is good for this type of lane condition, you know, where the lanes are spotty on the front end and dry on the back end, that kind of a thing. And I knew that was my go-to bowling ball for that condition. Um, and then I had other conditions that I had other balls for. And the thing is, is I could basically cover almost every condition or experience that I ever had with about six bowling balls. So when I went to tournaments, I have a big quad roller bag. I'm going to put a picture here so you can see what it looks like. And it has all kinds of equipment and, you know, bowling balls and four of them in the bottom and two of them that I carried on my shoulder. Uh, that was kind of my league balls that I'd use the most. Yeah. Anyways, I want your comments. What would you guys do? Um, those bowling balls, that's 108 pounds worth of equipment. I can't be carrying around all that. Even if I carry just two, you're still talking 36 pounds for two bowling balls. Plus, again, I'll put the picture here. The bag's that big, and that takes up space. You know, what if you um, what if you golf? Uh, let's use you guys that are golfers out there. Would you carry your clubs around with you? Hmm. I don't bowl a anymore, but what if you don't golf anymore, but you're thinking, man, maybe I might want to golf. Maybe I might want to work in a golf course, and they give me free golfing. Maybe there's something. Maybe you go to an RV park that's also on a golf course, and you get all the free golfing you want. Maybe you're a work camper and you get free golfing. Would you carry your clubs around with you? I mean, they're lighter than my stuff, but they are very bulky. Anyways, just something to consider. Also, uh, talking about downsizing, I am actively downsizing right now, and uh, it's something easy to do. Uh, I did a couple videos on my other channel on how to convert videotapes, uh, the old Hi8 standard tapes, into a digital format. And I never did finish doing all my home movies. Uh, I started shooting home movies in 96, I think it was. And, you know, up until now, hell, I'm shooting a movie now. But my camcorders are older. Um, they're in excellent condition. I take care of all my equipment. And uh, they're worth something. Uh, I'll put them on eBay. I'm sure I'll get, uh, you know, maybe $100 for the pair of them. But I had to convert all my tapes that were left over, our home movies, uh, into a digital format so I could get rid of them because I needed something to play the tape so I can convert it. Um, I'm, as we are doing this video here, uh, converting the last little bit, uh, compressing. So I am downsizing and then I can clean up my camcorders, put them on eBay and get rid of those. And maybe I'll just start a fund, a downsizing fund. And everything that I sell, that money goes towards camping, whatever that may be. Um, I, I really would hate to use it for repairs on the camper or, uh, you know, or tires or my truck. Oh, there's something entirely different. That's a whole nother video. But anyways, I went to touch base and let you know I am downsizing. That's, that's going to be the title of the video. And, uh, there's a lot of things that you got to consider. And man, I mean, I literally opened my closet and I'm like, oh yeah, what about all this bowling equipment? Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think I should do. Hope this video wasn't too boring and uh, start looking for more. I'm going to try to start doing them much more than on a weekly basis once the weather breaks. But man, this cold weather, I can't go out there, especially with this cold still lingering. I hope to be able to bring you more videos that show us camping. <laughs> That's got to be real soon here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, again, click like or subscribe. Bye.